this video, we'd like to determine whether this particular series converges or diverges. So first I'm going to simplify this a little bit by rewriting the log as 1 half times the natural log of n divided by n. There are many ways to find out whether a series converges or diverges, but when you're encountering a series that looks like this, something that you might have integrated back in the early parts of calculus, you have the option of using the integral test. As a function, the function that we're interested in, which will be 1 half times the natural log of x divided by x, this has to satisfy a few properties in order for the integral test to work. It needs to be positive first, and it just needs to be positive on the interval from 1 to infinity. So in this case, log x over x is positive. Everything that comes out of this is either 0 or bigger than 0 if we look at values of x that are strictly bigger than 1. So I have a function that's positive. The second thing it has to satisfy is that the series, um, not the series, the function has to be a continuous function. And in this case, as long as we stay bigger than 0, this function is continuous. And so this is going to be perfectly fine. The third thing's a little more tricky to check, and we need to make sure that the function is decreasing. And really, we just really need that it's decreasing eventually. So in this case, we're going to see if the derivative is negative after a certain point. So my derivative in this case, if I use the quotient rule, will be a half times 1 over x times x minus natural log of x, all divided by x squared. If I simplify this down a little bit, I'm going to get 1 half times 1 minus log x divided by x squared. My denominator is always a positive number, so in order to make this negative, I need my numerator to be negative. And so what I'm interested in here is my numerator, 1 minus log x, has to be a negative number. Now we can solve this. If you add log x to both sides and you take e to both sides, what you find out is that 1 has to be less than log x, which means e has to be less than x. So for x values big enough, in this case bigger than e, we do have a decreasing function, which means with all these three things working, we can use the integral test. So I'm going to compare the series that I have. I did pull the 1 half out of the series, so I don't have to worry about the constant. But I'm going to compare the series that I have to the integral of log x divided by x. Because this is an improper integral, I can evaluate this by using the limit as the top bound of the integral goes to infinity. So I'm going to write this as the limit as b goes to infinity of the integral from 1 to b of the natural log of x divided by x dx. Now inside the limit, this is a definite integral, and it's a definite integral that we know how to do. In particular, this is going to be a substitution problem that we can work with. So I have the limit as b goes to infinity. If you do the substitution, what you end up with is u is equal to the natural log of x, which means du is the 1 over x dx that's left in the problem. So we end up with a u squared over 2, or a natural log of x squared divided by 2. And we're going to evaluate this between 1 and b. So I get the limit as b goes to infinity of the natural log of b squared divided by 2 minus 0. When you plug 1 into the log x, you get 0. This limit is infinite because the limit of natural log of b as b goes to infinity is infinity. So I'm working with an infinite series here whose corresponding integral is divergent, which means the series itself is also divergent.